Hello and welcome. My name is Julie Cross, Digital Printing Technical Director at Domino. Gone are the days when you have to replace a print head because of a missing or deviated nozzle. Today, I would like to introduce you to nozzle compensation, how it works, and how our latest generation press, the N730i, features nozzle adjust, the Domino technology for nozzle compensation. Many companies only use voltage adjustment to compensate for a missing or deviated nozzle. This is where extra voltage is applied to the nozzles adjacent to the affected one. In some cases, like the higher density areas of the image, which are often referred to as the shadows, this may be sufficient, as the extra voltage on the adjacent nozzle will create a big enough drop to, to fill the gap and compensate for a missing nozzle. However, in the mid-tones and highlights, where smaller drop sizes are typically used, simply applying extra voltage to the adjacent nozzle will of course make the smaller drops larger, but not big enough to fill the gap created by the missing jet. With nozzle adjust, we combine the use of voltage adjustment with modifications to the screener to ensure we can compensate across the whole density range. Screening is the technique used in printing to simulate a continuous tone image using printed drops of different sizes. To create a, print, a continuous tone image, you could either print the image with many different inks, each of slightly different shades, to make up the overall picture, which would be extremely time consuming and expensive, or you can use a single ink and deposit drops of different sizes. This varies the white space between each drop, and as the drops printed by the inkjet print heads are so small, the human eye cannot distinguish between the white and printed areas and perceives a continuous tone image. So by modifying the screener in the midtones and highlights, instead of printing the expected drop size, we can choose to print a slightly larger drop in some parts of the print. Different screening modification curves can be created for each color and stored in the user interface software for the press ready to be applied. And by combining this modification to the screener in the appropriate areas, whilst also implementing the voltage adjustment, we're able to create drops of appropriate size in the adjacent nozzles to compensate for the missing jet across the entire density range. Nozzle adjust can be used to compensate for both missing and deviated nozzles. When a deviated nozzle is identified, it is switched off in the software and treated like a missing nozzle. And of course, at any later stage, it can be switched back on if desired. A wizard-based tool is used to guide the operator through the process to ensure that all the correct steps are taken. The wizard guides the operator through the steps of selecting and printing the appropriate nozzle detection file, uploading the file to the press, and reviewing the results of the scan. The graphical interface highlights the specific heads where a missing or deviated nozzle has been identified, and the operator can choose which nozzles are to be corrected. The data is sent to the press user interface, and at the same time, the compensation data is sent from the screener. The nozzle compensation is then enabled on the press, and at the push of a button, the job is submitted to the DFE, and a perfect print is achieved where the affected nozzles have been compensated. Use of Domino Nozzle Adjust is a simple, easy to use process, capable of compensating for missing and deviated nozzles, preventing the need for any downtime as a result of needing to change a print head. Our proven technology is just one of the reasons why our customers make the right choice with Domino, as they can trust in our knowledge and expertise to deliver value to their business. I am Julie Cross, Digital Printing Technical Director here at Domino, and thank you for watching my tech talk.